What's going on everybody? Jeremiah here from Babble in My Backyard, a pond and garden channel packed full of informative and how-to videos for you. In this video I'm very excited that I finally got the tilapia. I've learned a lot uh, about the process of ordering tilapia and I'm going to walk you through that process and help you understand. So if you're going to order tilapia, here's some things that you should know in this video. So check it out. So first of all, when they ship your tilapia, they come in a styrofoam lined box. At the bottom of my box, there is this pack that's supposed to stay warm and it kind of sits down below in a perfectly lined box where this sits in there and then they throw some paper over the top of that and then your bag goes in there full of fish. So this was shipped two day shipping and that's supposed to last that whole time keeping them plenty warm while they're while they're in transit unfortunately with the way shipping is right now it took three days then i it was a stressful thing because when i saw that they weren't going to be here in the two days i was like just constantly on my phone watching 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 and then of course I went into work. I've been working from home, so I had to go into work this one time, and I went into work, and then they showed up at the house, and I had to rush home and get them in here and then get back to work. Okay, so they come late. I check the temperature, and the temperature is much lower than it should be. These Nile tilapia, they can go to a lower temperature for a short time, as long as it's not a long time. And it wasn't like it was crazy, it hit 70 degrees. It's one of the, the in, really interesting things is the bag that they come in. It's not like you, you go to a fish store, you get some fish, or you go to a koi farm and you get a koi. You're just getting them in a plastic bag, which they fill with air. Sometimes they'll use compressed air to fill up the bag or they just capture it and then you have that extra air space in the bag. Because that's a short time. In this case, this bag is actually two layers thick and in some way it's pulling air from the atmosphere into the bag. So the water that's in there is pretty much, there's no air captured within the bag, with inside where the, the fish are. But there is a membrane between the two layers that allows oxygen to flow in but water can't get outward. So that's kind of an interesting way to give the fish oxygen that whole time. What I, I learned before I even got the fish was that you don't acclimate them the same way. Because traditionally we would take the fish and we would throw them into the body of water and let them kind of acclimate, add a little bit of water, let them acclimate to the pH add a little bit of water and then you pull your fish out and put them into your tank. Well because of this type of bag you actually don't want to put it into your water it'll suffocate the fish faster so you don't acclimate that way. In this case you just open up the bag and you add some water and then you let the temperature acclimate that way add a little bit more water and if you're too far off in temperature or pH, then you actually have to set them up in a separate tank temporarily until your water is the same, until you can get the water the same. Really, I was lucky that I had this set to the lower end, thinking that this would not be full temperature when I got here. Even after two days, I just assumed that it would be down towards the lower end of the, their temperatures. So I had this cranked down to their lowest desired temperature. But there was still a five degree difference between the two, so I did have to try to get this up in temperature. The other thing was the pH. I lucked out there too because my pH from where it was in the bag, I was only just decimals off from being at the same pH. I didn't have to worry too much about that. Now let's jump in to see us actually getting these fish in there. When we just had to like jump in and do it quick. So let's cut over to that now.
So as I was saying, I, I ordered these fish a while ago and I'm only just now getting the fish. I probably ordered a month ago. Well, when you order tilapia, the farmers are looking at the weather, not just where they're at but, and where you're at, but in anywhere on the route that that fish will travel. They are watching to make sure there's no freezing happening anywhere on that route. Because if there's going to be any freezing temperatures on en route, that heat pack that I showed you cannot sustain them they will get too cold. They're gonna wait until it's time. The other thing is with Nile tilapia, since they require a higher heat, uh, they won't ship them as easily as if you were to get blue tilapia. So if you're in an area that accepts blue tilapia, you probably are fine, you can get them much quicker than I did. But if you are in an area that you need to have a Nile tilapia because of fish and game regulations, then you're going to have to wait a little longer, most likely, unless you order them in the summertime. Right now, at this stage, they're just eating these little algae tablets. The other thing with Lakeway, one of the cool things I thought, is they have these pro packs for food. So you basically put it in the website, I'm ordering 30 fish, so I'm gonna be raising 30 fish. <clears throat> and because I'm raising 30 fish, they figure out how much of each size food. So I got two of these algae tab things. And then after that, they move up to this smaller feed. And then from there, they move up to just a little bigger pellet. And this is the appropriate amount, amount of food for that growth period before I move them to a larger pellet. And at that stage, when they move into that larger pellet, I should also be feeding them regular mealworms and my black soldier fly larva because I have those farms running now. One other thing I'll mention is that I have this pump down in the corner there. I have the pump running the filters turned off at the moment. I do have the heater on and I have been running the bubbler. I just have it off for the moment so that you can see easier in here. All right, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We always have great videos popping up on this channel, so don't miss any of those. For now though, if you haven't seen some of these other ones that I'm just popping up here, go check out some of those videos. We'll see you in one of those videos.